Hey guys, hair square. I just got out of my bed because guess what? We had an ice day. I don't know if you saw my videos yesterday, but if you look out my window, you can see like the trees are kind of, maybe you can see the trees are kind of covered with ice. But anyway, I like to talk. I don't know if you know that about me because I don't have many friends. I don't fool with a lot of people, but the people that I fool with know that I can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Anyway, I started a TikTok channel or TikTok. I don't know if it's a channel. I started that and I opened up my Instagram and made it public like three weeks ago because I'm trying to sell these books. A girl is trying to get paid and build a legacy for her daughters. But anyway, I slept in today. Um, I am not about to do a morning routine with you guys, <laughs> but... I have been scrolling TikTok and Instagram like every day trying to figure out what video I could do, what video I could do. Um, and so right now, I'm not going to try to encourage you to purchase books, although I would love for you to go to my website at www.oursquarejourney.com and get your books. But this is what I wanted to show you. Last night, like I don't have much hair. I don't know if you guys know that or not. <laughs> But anyway, I used to have I used to have hair and I don't think I'll ever grow hair back. But anyway, last night I was scrolling and I saw this um video where someone wraps they don't wrap their hair anymore. They just pull it all up and put it in a roller. And I don't know if you believe that that works. And I don't know if you've seen pictures of me with my hair, but after I wash my hair, I shave it, whatever. Whenever I wash my hair and I curl it for the first time, I don't put any more heat on my hair unless I absolutely have to. Like it's getting all um, freezing and stuff because of the weather that we've had. Sometimes I'll just pin curl it. But I want to tell you, if you've seen that TikTok or that reel or wherever it was that I saw it, that's how I do my hair, like every night. And I was telling the girls like, oh, y'all should do your hair like that. But I comb my hair up into like this ball or whatever. I don't have much, but she had a head full of hair and she put it all like in a um, sponge roller. She had a fatter one, but I just wanted to show y'all that I this is how I do my hair and it works. So I do it in that sponge roller and then that's, that's how my curls kind of stay. And I don't even use a comb to comb my hair out. So all of you with natural, and I have natural hair. I don't have a relaxer in my hair, um, but constantly putting heat in your head is a no-go. So sometimes my curls are tighter, right? And I'll just do it like that, or I'll just use my hand to do it. And then throughout the day at work, my curls will fall. But if you don't want to put heat in your hair every single day, that sponge roller, it works. I've never seen anyone do it with their whole um, head of hair, but I do it with my little hair. So that's how I do it. So if you want to give it a try, you try it. But she just, I just comb it out like this at the end of the night. And then I roll it and she does her whole head, right? And then you go to sleep. And sometimes you need a little oil on it, sometimes you don't, but every morning, that's what I do. I'm not like recurling my hair, right? And so I use my hand most of the time and I put on my eyeshadow. This morning I went ahead and put on some eyeliner, but typically all I wear is eyeshadow and eyeliner and some lip gloss and guys, that's it. Like, so I wanted to just double down on her, whoever that was who did that video with the sponge roller. So sometimes my curls are tighter, but by the end of the day, they fall in some. Um, sometimes they're going different ways. This part right here is typically looser. But anyway, have it. I'm about to get myself some gloss and I'm about to go get some of my favorite things. And I'll probably be back in the yellow chair talking about my favorite things. Hope y'all are having a great day. If you're an educator, you know what these days are like. We just went back to school Monday and then we had an ice day today. I hope everyone is safe in the Middle Tennessee area and um, I'll see you in a bit. So I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do in a minute. Bye.